What up, what up? Welcome to the fourth installation of this experiment with the self crypto wallet and some ideas to look at, some share with to try to figure out how to make some money for us and change our families' lives. Well, blah, 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 let me jump to it. So, um, DeFi coins, how they're doing. Looking at this, so the DeFi market cap itself is 155 billion. ETH complete market cap is half a trillion. So the DeFi to ETH ratio is about 30%, 12% Terra dominance. So because Terra is the second largest besides Ethereum um, DeFi system. So I'll get a sense of what all this information is, is the, the the trading volume. And there's going to be a lot of uh, money over time is going to flow into this. You know, you got Terra, Chainlink, Uniswap here, um, kind of almost at the market cap, similar to a uh, about the eighth and ninth coins now, seventh, eighth, ninth coins now going down. And then it just really drops off. Not really, really drops off. You have a lot like curve here. But... It's going to be a lot more money going to Serum. I have to check out what Serum is. That's $64 billion? Okay. I haven't heard that. Now. I'll show you something else there. Okay, so MetaMask. It's the MetaMask here in Ethereum. Been buying some things. I'm going to show you what I've been doing lately. But go here to create account. And you can create a new wallet and we're going to use a second wallet to when we connect to probably should have changed the names enough to where it'd be completely different but you can see i got a new now um Here's my private key, psych. Uh, I have a new um, address. It's a, it's a new wallet. So I can use this now to connect, and it doesn't have, it still has all of my different networks. It's just, I'm going to use this wallet whenever I want to connect to something that may be sketchy. So a lot of people have been getting their MetaMask hacked. And it appears that it can be hacked if you even if you you know how you give permission to somebody to your wallet, then they can um, hack your wallet. So you have to go to only reputable sites that you're 100 percent know you're going to. So anything I don't know I'm going to, I'm going to now go there with testbed. You know, kind of be mostly with testbed when I come on and go in here and only flip over to the other one when I'm doing business or checking on my business on other sites. So that's a little bit way to have some protection, a little bit of protection from yourself. Also, it's just we'll I definitely need to do an operational security videos, and I've, I've been meaning to, and I will. So next, importantly, so that's important. We show that you can create uh, these different wallets just by hitting create account and have different wallets. You can connect a hardware wallet, import. So you have these different options. But let's get into what you're here for. Let's see how the money's been doing. Um, start off with Clima. Clima is our biggest holding and is on Polygon. And how much Clima do we have? I always like to reset. Now, the amount we have here may be artificially inflated, I believe. I may be wrong. Did I buy more Clima? I can't remember. I've been trying to think today, or maybe I was by a time. So, well, actually, let me go back here to that climb. And so we have here it is zero two eight five eight seven and have a little. Have here a. I don't do that. Help them. Everybody's a room with this. 
happen to anybody else anywhere. We do not want that. Getting a little spreadsheet going here with uh, my information for. So I don't. Maybe I haven't had anything to this. This doesn't seem like it's going up by that much. I mean, look, point point oh seven is a bit. The price of climate has dropped. Um, almost from a thousand from when I bought in, but the APY has gone up. So, and they put away now. You see, ten million carbon tons and Mark Cuban has was on Twitter talking about how he's buying fifty thousand dollars worth of carbon tons and staking them to the blockchain every couple of weeks. So this project will continue to do well. Let's see how that goes. We'll move on now to the let's do Arbitrum. Earlier today I added another um, project, which is zero to ohm on Arbitrum, because if you remember previously, I talked about how Arbitrum didn't have its own token, neither the optimistic, and we're doing business on this network, trying to um, doing business on this network. Hopefully that if they have an airdrop, you will get part of it. So and I wasn't able to set a liquidity pool up on Uniswap on Arbitrum, but I just added a little bit of extra money and, and um, just bridged it over straight to Arbitrum and staked it not much here on the the dashboard for um you see here it's at a hundred and thirty one dollars with only a little bit less than 10 million um, TVL back in a 41 runway, 229 days. It used to have crazy APR. Why? And they always sometimes you have this real Arby's food thing. And I'm in the um, Discord as well. So sometimes this will spike up to 400,000. And I just started today. So this will be our first amount. I like to get the exact amount if for nothing I mean look you know now that I'm writing it down I might as well because I'm writing it down so we'll come back to that that is I thought about Not doing this in front of you, but then I said, I'm not going to come back and do this. It would be insane. <laughs> so he's going to suffer through. So uh, it's basically a fork of ohm on Arbitrum Network. They have this real meat and food based things. The bond discounts now you see of ohm went negative because this is controlled by a DAO. And they decided to cut that so that there was not this issue of bond dilution that's been talked about with some of the other forks. And it basically boils down to if you bond and rebase enough in the first couple of days, you can even have a better rate than staking. But I don't know if it really lasts out in the long run or if it's more just a, you know, theoretical thing like, oh, yeah, you have, you know, a couple percent for a couple of days versus, you know, how would that play out long term? I mean, look, a couple percent and then if that compounds over time, that may give you vast differences. But I think the. The amounts we're talking about, like 2%, 3%, is not that vast of a difference in the first couple of days to make it to where. I mean, yeah, now we're talking about, you know, with these programs, according to them, you know, two years down the line, there may be a difference of a couple hundred thousand or something with these, but come on. All right, so we got Arbitrum, and now let's go to Avalanche. We're going to do one thing special today, which is check our Avalanche stuff. And then you see I have here a little bit of AVAX, which, been, which has been booming lately, to be quite honest. But we're going to set up a liquidity pool. Now, here, my butt thinking, 
that Trader Joe didn't have a coin yet and like Sushi Swap or Uniswap. If we set up a liquidity pool there early, we've been doing swaps on it. Maybe we can get a token, but they already have their own token, Joe. So still go set the liquidity pool up because I may want to use it on AVEX either in Abracadabra or on time. But we'll get to that shortly. Right now, let's go and check on our Time Wonderland. And previously I'll show right now. Let's see how much we have now. And I th think I added more time. Not much to this, but just... A little bit more time. It was another a, a third, th another thing there you probably saw. I was like, what is that? And I'll show for some. What was that? I'll show for some people who didn't know, but I'll get to it shortly. Um, do, 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 do. Time of Wonderland. It's, oh, I may have not have gotten all of my information like I wanted. I'm tripping, right? Yeah. Oopsie. Missing a couple of, couple of them long, small ones on the end. Don't want to do that. No, the members of this organization, if they ever want to kick in some more money to make this grow faster, they can always feel free. <laughs> and I'll let them know. This is um, what I've been able to donate from the coffers to help out some. All right, so Snowbank, let's check out Snowbank, which is also on the Avalanche Network. And we are at, let's get the, all of that, give me all of that. Snowbank. 0 0.01105032. And now I have here in my wallet some wrapped steak ohm on Avalanche. What is that? Well, ohm is the initial of these protocols that bought its own liquidity, and we're allowing minting to stake for a lower fee and you know blah 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 the whole thing we call this d 2.0 of finance and ohm is on ethereum and to stake and unstake costs a lot of gas and to transfer to ohm but it's still i would still recommend highly recommend if, to if you have to, to mint ohm ohm i have ohm private personally i'm not going you know none of this is financial advice none, none of this is any advice in any shape, form, or fashion is all entertainment, just speaking from my own experience. But OM is expensive to get, and if you, you know, on a budget and you have some extra avalanche, you can get staked OM, which is OM. Uh, I don't know how if I can see this more. Maybe I have to go to like a. Uniswap for that. Huh? Oh, I did not get it for Uniswap. I believe I got it from Trader Joe. I'm going to Trader Joe anyway, so that works out. Let's see if I can if you tell me what my okay. Yeah, you know, I was exactly without oh, oh wow, this good. Even more than I thought. <laughs> zero zero two one zero four four three. All right, I'll go back to that. Three, four. That's fair. That's fair. So you can you can trade AVAX for wrapped staked ohm. And this wrapped staked ohm is able to still compound as if it was owned on the Ethereum network. It just sits in your wallet and compounds. So, Ohm has about an 8,000 APR, and it's doing really well. You saw the DeFi coins. It's one of the top DeFi coins. So, let's add this to the mix. Our Ohm, wrapped Ohm. Okay. 
Four, four, three, four. Okay. And last but far from not least, let's see how much Sheba we have now. It's about 39.84. We've added up to since we deposited in pending. I'm not sure if this is exactly how it all works, but I think it's slightly different, but for our purposes now, I'm going to say that is what we have. So it was 51.939.84. All right. I think it was that. Yeah, 39.84. So that's what we have so far. Oh, okay. Oh. My bad. That is what we have, and we're just going to really briefly go ahead and set up this liquidity pool in Trader Joe anyway. So I still want my AVAX. Oopsie. And I'm going to do, um, going to do point, point 0.5. And I'm going to turn this into time. I'm going to go swap. Confirm swap. Find paying how much AVAX for this. Now, there's other... I'm just going to show a little bit that I may or not. There's some other things that I'm going to play with next couple of days to see if using these protocols can have you eligible for airdrop in the future. There's like tracking, crypto tracking wallets like Zapper, D-Bank, and Zerion. Um... And so I may switch over to the test wallet and do one or two of them real quickly just to see what that looks like. Okay, so now we have, well, I have enough to where I can go here to a liquidity pool and do an AVEX time pool. And I'm going to put my max amount of time that I have with the AVEX, approve the time, confirm. When this goes through, AVEX goes pretty fast. It was a little bit slower than I think just because the network has been getting a lot of attention lately. So it's been moving just a little bit slower than normal. But not enough to be anything concerned about. Boop. It's implied. Now I can supply that. Let me just, you know, I get, you know how it be. Maximize that. Supply, confirm supply. Supply this to the community. Wait. Okay. No, I was recalculating. I messed up. But, I mean, I didn't mess up. I shouldn't let it recalculate. I think it gave it a little bit worse rate, but not that. Not tripping. So now, soon I'll have these li liquidity um, tokens for this AVEX in time. And I can mint this on Wonderland, or I can also, I think, I'm able to borrow against this on Abracadabra. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research on that tonight. But Zap is something I think, yeah, it's, okay. So Zapping, if I'm not 100%, you, you just say, hey, I put my AVAX in, it already make the whole liquidity um, pool and token for you. It's kind of that one step. But I think there's a little bit of slippage of people saying like 2%, so they're wigging out over that. Yeah, time, AVAX. Do I have um, mint max? Your balance. Okay, Sam. You know who you're talking to? Oh, maybe it's because I haven't refreshed this and it was just jump straight to it. Because I got, I got a balance of some of that. I know it's tiny. Max it out. Boom. Look at, whoo, look at that, though. 
Man, I could improve if I wanted to, son. It meant some more time. So I'm going to play a little bit around with this. Um, but that was a little quick and dirty. Catch up where we at with everything. I'll let you go. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.